everyone, welcome to Nitin Academy and I'm Nitin. And today in PSLE Math 2022 Paper 2 Question Series, I'll be going through question 12. So let's get started. So today I'll be going through question 12. So let's take a look at it, okay? So this is question 12 and it is testing us on angles as you can see. And it has three parts to this question, part A, B, and C. So let's read the question and solve part A first, okay? So A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, okay? And A, C, E is an equilateral triangle. So A, C, E is an equilateral triangle, which means that this angle over here is 60 degrees, this angle over here is 60 degrees, and this angle over here is 60 degrees. Okay? So all three of those angles are 60 degrees. Okay? And next, DC is equal to DE. So DC is equal to DE. Okay? This means that DCE is actually an isosceles triangle. So let's write that down over here. So D C E is an isosceles triangle. Okay? So we found out that and also this angle is equal to 60 degrees. This angle is equal to 60 degrees. And this angle is equal to 60 degrees. So all three of those angles are equal to 60 degrees. Okay? So let's read the first part of the question. So they are asking us to find angle ACD. So where is angle ACD? Okay, so let me erase everything that I've done so far. So angle ACE is actually this angle over here. So ACE, uh, ACD I mean, sorry, okay? So angle ACD is actually over here. So what are we gonna do first in order to find that? So first of all, we know that Triangle DCE is an isosceles triangle. So we can find the base angles over here by taking uh, angle DCE is actually equal to 180 degrees minus 138 degrees, which will, uh, which will actually give us both of the, su the sum of the two base angles. And then we divide it by two in order to get 21 degrees, okay? So 21 degrees is actually the base angles over here. So let me just write that down. 21 degrees, 21 degrees. So what we are going to do now in order to find ACD is to basically take 60 degrees minus 21 degrees. So we are going to take 60 degrees. So we know that ACE is 60 degrees. So we are going to take ACD in order to find ACD. We are going to take 60 degrees minus 21 degrees in order to get 39 degrees. So this is basically the answer for part A. So I hope you understood that. Now let's read the question for part B. Okay, so for part B, we actually have um, find angle CDA. So where is CDA? So let me just erase whatever I've done. Okay. And let me just write the value for the new angle I have found. So this is actually 39 degrees, right? Okay, so... They are asking us for angle CDA. So where is CDA? CDA. Okay, so this is angle CDA over here. So what are we going to do in order to find this angle over here? So it's actually really simple, right? So we know that this angle over here is actually 30 degrees, right? So what we are going to do is actually take 60 degrees minus 30 degrees which will give us 30 degrees for this angle over here, okay? So we find that angle, and then after that, we just need to use 180 degrees minus 30 minus 39, which will give us the answer for angle CDA. So let's do that right now. So angle CDA is equal to 60 minus 30 degrees, oh sorry, uh, angle CAD, right, is actually equal to 60 degrees minus 30 degrees, which will give us 30 degrees. So we already found out that. So this is 30 degrees. Okay, let me just write it a bit clearer over here. It's a bit hard to see. So this is 30 degrees 
right? So in order to find angle CDA, we are going to take 180 degrees minus 30 degrees minus 39 degrees. So why 180 degrees, you may ask? 180 degrees is actually the sum of all the angles in a triangle. So we are going to take 180 degrees minus the two angles over here in order to get this angle CDA. Okay, so the answer is actually 111. Okay, so next, now that we're done with part B of the question, let's take a look at part C, the last part. Okay, so they're asking us to find angle EAB. So where is angle EAB? So angle E, A, B. So angle E, A, B is actually this really big angle over here. Okay. So what are we going to do in order to find that angle? Okay. So this is actually 111 degrees, meaning that this is 111 degrees. Okay. So why did I put 111 degrees on both sides over here? is because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. But this is not really needed to solve this question. What we actually need is actually this over here. So you see this angle over here, right? Plus this angle over here is actually... So let me just do this in blue so that it's easier for you to see. Okay. So we got the blue coloring here. So this angle over here plus this angle over here. So this is 111 degrees. So blue so this plus this actually gives us 180 degrees in total okay so what do we need to do in order to find this angle over here what do we need to do in order to find this angle the blues angle over here so we are basically going to take 180 degrees minus 111 degrees okay so we are going to take uh, in order to find bad we are going to take 180 degrees minus 111 degrees which will give us 69 degrees, okay? So this angle is actually 69 degrees, right? And we need to find the total angle. So we can easily find it by just taking 69 degrees plus 30 degrees, which will actually give us the answer, okay? So let's take 69 degrees plus 30 degrees in order to find angle EAB, okay? This angle over here, which will actually give us 99 degrees as the answer. Okay, with that, I have come to the end of this question and I hope you understood my explanation for this question, question 12, testing us on angles. And with that, I've come to the end of the video. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!